the country and 35,000 beneficiaries. They conducted a study to analyze the impact of TVET and presented their findings at a summit that was also attended by Dr. Kiviti Desai, who is Principal Secretary of TVET. It's a part of our history. When we started working with this program, it was in India about 20 years ago. It was meant to help children in the streets. And so we, we created a model that first and foremost helps those who most need to be helped. And when we came to Kenya to introduce the model and to adapt it here, we have kept that uh, focus because the needs of vulnerable, marginalized young people in Kenya are very, very, very high. But it does not mean that the model cannot work with other young people. We, they can. In fact, one of the reasons why we are organizing this kind of workshops is because we are actually giving it away now. We are telling uh, institutions and organizations and partners that want to help young people that we are willing to provide them technical support and technical resources and the resources of our, of our learning, of our knowledge over the last uh, nine years here in Kenya so that they can help young people. We are not telling them whom they can help. We believe all young people are deserving of help. This initiative today through research highlights some of the key efforts that we are putting in place with respect to our existing reforms. They include you know, the readiness and the preparation to, to roll out competency-based education training throughout the entire network of uh, technical vocational training institutions. Let's now head back to a top story, that of Nairobi Governor Mike Movisonku, who has been released on a cash bill of 15 million shillings and a 30 million shillings bond. Now, while giving his ruling on the bail application this afternoon, Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti barred Governor Sonko from accessing Nairobi County offices and that he will be escorted.